Jason, good morning to you. Uh, you know, just yesterday, I was teaching some school children religious instruction. And the text I used, uh, the main text was Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And it says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, <clears throat> and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Uh, I began the lesson by asking them if they are afraid of the day. Some of them said yes, some said no. Uh, but in the discussion, uh, we came to the conclusion that since God in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 19 said that men, when, when man sinned and he died, he would return to the dust, it means that Somebody who is dead cannot do you anything, so you do not, you do not have to be afraid of it. I explained also, and I'm explaining to you this morning, that when God created Adam, he did not create two human beings. He created one. You see, that's the problem we have. Uh, we are thinking that because the Bible says uh, God formed man and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, is two, no is one, is one, is one soul, Adam, one soul God created. And when you have that understanding, <clears throat> you would not be thinking that when somebody dies, a part of them goes to heaven. No, it's not so. The Bible says they go back to the dust. God say that. Now God must know he created human beings. So he must know. You see the problem, and listen to this now. The problem we human beings have is that we could explain everything, but we cannot explain the mystery of life. Death is not mysterious, you know. No, but life and the origin of life is a secret that God kept for himself alone. Satan self doesn't know that. And so because we cannot explain the mystery of life. It means that when life has left the body, when God takes back his life, we behave as if it's a part of human being that God has taken back. No, no, don't look at it that way. You're making a mistake. God say, listen, the living know that they shall die. We are conscious that we will die, but the dead know not anything. It, that's Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 5. And because the dead knows not anything, we do not have to be afraid of the dead. Finally, listen to this, finally, Satan wants us to believe that when you are dead, you are not really dead. Why? Because he wants you to believe that you can live a reckless life and die and then make a change in the grave. No, you're going back to the dust when you die. And that is why you have to make it right with God before you die. Yes, God and Father help someone to understand today that you, God, you hold the mystery of life and you didn't share it with anyone. You also said that when man sinned, he would die, he would return to the dust. Help us to believe your word and help us because we believe your word. Help us to live for you so that when we die and we fall asleep in Christ, we can be resurrected to go with Jesus Christ when he comes the second time. Thank you ever so much. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.